Hello, this is Hawker Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-3537, also known as Mr. Shapey. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-3537, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures SCP-3537 is to be contained in a standard humanoid containment cell in Hall 8 of Site-13. SCP-3537 is allowed access to paper and various writing material after it changes its appearance. All documents written by SCP-3537 are to be stored in a file in Dr. Arai's office. In case of a containment breach from SCP-3537 in which its current appearance is unknown, all exits are to be blocked off and personnel must take off any clothing article that covers their upper body. Once SCP-3537 has been identified, it is to be sedated and brought back to its containment cell. Description: SCP-3537 is a humanoid polymorphic being. SCP-3537 has shown to be incapable of controlling its transformations. These are usually described as painful depending on how drastic the changes from its previous alterations are. The shortest time I'm elapsed between physical changes recorded has been 24 hours while the longest time has consisted of 30 days. The only recorded aspects of that persist between these, these conversions are SCP-3537's mental characteristics, memories, health, and personality, and a tattoo look aided in its back between the shoulder blades, which reads Mr. Shapey from Little Misters by Dr. Wondertainment. All of SCP-3537's transformations take the appearance of non-anomalous human individuals. Some of the recorded changes have consisted of gain and loss of fat muscle mass. How SCP-3537 obtains its additional matter along with how it disposes of it is still currently unknown. Height ranging from 1.56 meters to 1.97 meters. Ethnicity and skin color. There are recorded cases where transformations include various skin pigmentations. These pigmentations usually resemble tattoos and or cosmetics. Hair color. Similar early early cases where transformations have unnatural hair colors. Said hair shows no evidence of it having been dyed. Sex. Biological age. Overall DNA structure. Occasionally, SCP-3537 will write down a description for possible normal disabilities the transformation could have. Testing indicates that SCP-3537 does not obtain the anomalies written. For a list of recorded transformations, see Addendum M3537A. Shortly after containment, SCP-3537 changed appearance into a smell of indeterminate descent Pigmentation was present in a general area of the belly of SCP-3537. The pigmentation took the shape of sentences, and it reads as follows. Wow, you've just found yourself your very own little mister. A limited edition collection from Dr. Wondertainment. I just want a tall friend who could help you retrieve all those frisbees stuck up in the roof of your house. Or a smart friend that can help you with your homework. So you can have more time to play? Well, you're in luck. Mr. Shave can be that and so much more. Find them all, become Mr. Collector. One, Mr. Chameleon. Two, Mr. Headless. Three, Mr. Lab. Four, Mr. Forgetful. Five, Mr. Shapey. Six, Mr. Soap. Seven, Mr. Hungry. Eight, Mr. Brass. 9. Mr. Hot 10. Mr. Sweetie 11. Mr. Life and Mr. Death 12. Mr. Fish 13. Mr. Moon 14. Mr. Red Discontinued 15. Mr. Money 16. Mr. Loss 17. Redacted 18. Mr. Mad 19. Mr. Scary 20. Mr. Stripes Addendum 3537A the following is a list of some of the recorded SCP-3537 transformations accompanied with anomaly descriptions. July 12, 2016 
Next formation is a 35-37-26, Mr. Knight. Male of Peruvian descent, 1.80 meters tall and weighted 70.11 kilograms. Bald between 30 and 40 years of age. Other notable features, SCP-3537 had pigmentation on its body resembling traditional indigenous body paint. These do not seem to play part with SCP-3537's descriptions. Possible anomalies. While in the dark, the entity would have manifested bioluminescent spots on the skin. The spots would have acted as stars and the position would shift to match the entity's current location. <clears throat> Date, November 6, 2016. Transformation number 353789, Miss Sandy. Description, female of the European descent, 1.63 meters tall and weighs 63.44 kilograms, blonde hair, approximately 20 years of age. Other notable features, SCP-3537 presented signs of constant sun exposure, except for the general area of the torso. This untanned portion indicates the use of a one-piece swimming suit. Possible anomalies, unspecified amounts of sand would manifest periodically in a small area around the entity. If a subject under 18 years of age were to interact with the manifested sand, any structures created, i.e. sand castles, would become indestructible, regardless of pressure applied. Date, May 28, 2017. Transformation, 3537-433, Mr. Zippers. Description, Mel. It is theorized that the entity in question would have been generalized in a similar notion in a similar matter to SCP-905 and SCP-629. But the transformations SCP-3537 goes through seems to be unable to remove their sexual orient or or organs. Of unidentified descent, 1.73 meters tall and weighs 32.02 kilograms, approximately 50 years old. Other notable features, SCP-3537 presented light purple skin coloration with golden stripes present in a seemingly random pattern across the body. Possible anomalies, the entity would consist of a sentient hollow humanoid cloth doll with various zippers around its body. These zippers could be opened into a pocket dimension. Items could be stored and retrieved from inside the entity. Addendum 3537B. The following is an interview which took place on April 19, 2018 between SCP-3537 and Researcher Harley. Interviewed, SCP-3537. Interviewer, Researcher Harley. Begin log. Good afternoon, SCP-3537. Today I would like to make some questions about these special transformations of yours. Sure thing, Doc. Let's begin then. Why is it that you only come up with these descriptions of anomalies of anomalous behavior for certain transformations? Why not all of them? Pretty easy. I just don't think all of them are that interesting, to be honest. Nothing really eye-catching. Nothing that would make a child go, Mom, I want one of those. Can I get one, please? I'd say a polymorphic entity is eye-catching as it is. Do you feel unsatisfied with your anomalies in comparison to that of others from the collection? Unsatisfied? I assure you, sir, that I'm happy the way I am, regardless of how I will ever look. Then what's the purpose behind the notes we've seen you write? Brainstorming. Brainstorming? What for? Well, there used to be idea pitches for possible low misters. If I came up with a good idea for a shift, then I would write it down for Dr. W to read. And if you liked it, she'd make it a mister. So what you are saying is that you were the first one that came to existence? Yes and no. You're right in that I was physically made first, but I was certainly the last one to get the, the tattoo. W made me eat the help in the creative process of Mr. Macon. Lost, fish, smiles, I used to be them before they were themselves. 
Well, I used to be most of them, since not all current whistlers were ideas from yours truly. Anyways, it wasn't until the list was 19 and which was in that I would decide that I should be the last. Any particular reason behind that a choice? None as far as I know. To end up for today, could you elaborate on why you keep coming up with these descriptions despite not working for Dr. Wondertainment anymore? I used to do it to pass the time, you know, like a hobby. It wasn't until recently that I felt like I needed to do them as if I was working again. And though, either way, since you guys as now own me, might as well pitch my ideas to you all, since everybody here seems to be interested in how wacky I can look at times. End log. Alright, that was SCP-3537, also known as Mr. Shapey. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow, so until